the consumer market of today is increasingly divided, and even gaming laptops have various requirements. The AMD Ryzen 7 6800H CPU and the Redmi G Pro Ryzen Edition provides a superb price-to-performance ratio. It will surely give customers who enjoy using gaming laptops additional options when coupled with high-performance costs. AMD unveiled the Ryzen 6000H and Ryzen 6000U series of mobile processors at CES 2022 in January. Both employ the more energy-efficient Zen 3 Plus architecture, integrate the GPU of the RDNA 2 architecture, and go from TSMC 7 nanometer to 6 nanometer manufacturing processes. Among these, 8x is set aside for discrete GPUs, 4x for NVMe SSD, 4x for NVMe or SATA SSD, and 4x for additional extensions. The HDMI 2.1 standard has been updated. The three versions of the HS 35W, H 45W, and HX 45W Plus are among the eight models of the Ryzen 6000H series. AMD R7 6800H with eight cores and 16 threads, a default TDP of 45W a base frequency of 3.2 GHz, and a maximum frequency of 4.7 GHz, powers the Redmi G Pro Ryzen Edition. The integrated AMD Radeon 680M graphics card that is built in, has 12 cores, and operates at a frequency of 2200 MHz. When the graphics card is not under a strong load, it can switch to using the integrated graphics card, which greatly extends the notebook's battery life. The version I tested had a single display direct connection compatible NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. Another notable feature of the Xiaomi Redmi G Pro is its screen. A 16-inch screen with a 2560 x 1600 resolution is included in the notebook to ensure a more intense gaming experience. It boasts CIS HDR 400 certification, 10-bit color depth, 500 nits of brightness, 100% sRGB color spectrum coverage. Of course, the fast refresh rate of the screen is necessary for a gaming laptop. When playing first-person shooter games, the 240Hz high refresh rate and AMD FreeSync Adaptive Refresh technology will undoubtedly be very helpful. I also use the Spider 5 Elite to test the screen's color accuracy and color gamut. The measured screen can roughly match the official standard by covering 99% of the sRGB color gamut and 73% of the DCI-P3 color spectrum. Even better than the official data is the color standard's average delta E of 0.67. It is important to note that this screen has DC dimming functionality, which is better for people who are sensitive to screen flicker. A built-in 80-watt-hour lithium battery in the Redmi G Pro Ryzen Edition supports USB PD charging with a maximum power of 100 watt. However, the performance release mode for gaming laptops cannot be met by by the present USB PD. Because of this, the typical setup uses a 330 watt high power power adapter, and the weight of the power supply and power cable alone is 1.16 kilograms. The full featured USB Type C, Mini DP 1.4, HDMI 2.1, 4 USB Type A, 3.5 mm headphone jack, 2.5 GRJ45 network connector, SD reader card, and power interface are all available on the Redmi G Pro. Although there are many interfaces, their distribution and types are not optimal. There is USB Type-A and 3.5mm headphone jack on the left side of the laptop. The USB Type-A and SD card reader is on the right, and the rest of the laptop's connections are on the rear. The single USB 2.0 port is the USB Type-A on the left, which is significantly slower than the other three USB 3.2 Gen 2 interfaces. The cooling system on a gaming laptop is crucial. The Redmi G Pro's four heat pipes measure 10 by 18 by 25 mm and there are four air outlets on the laptop sides and back. Compared to the Intel Edition, which is a greater performance release, the setup is more opulent. The laptop's keyboard has also been updated with a numeric keypad on the C side. The keys have scissor feet, a white illumination that can be adjusted in brightness on a 3-level scale, a 1.5mm key travel, and a white backlight. Whether it is the effect of the viewing angle or the usefulness at night, it is good. The Redmi G Pro Ryzen Edition's configuration as a gaming laptop is significant, but the gaming experience ultimately depends on how well it performs in various performance release modes. Xiaomi G Command Center software is offered to consumers to make it easier for them to configure laptop performance. The direct connection feature of the independent display can be used, and a new crazy mode has been added. The tests that follow are based on crazy mode and a direct connection to the graphics card. Card. The AMD Ryzen R7 6800H processor's base clock on the Redmi G Pro is 3.2 GHz, which is identical to the processor's official default specification. It has 16 gigs of DDR5 to 4800 memory installed, 4 channels are active, and the CL value is 40. The AMD R7 6800H can sprint to 80 watt plus in less than a minute on the buy item stability test, but the GPU only manages 130 watt. Amazingly, the combined peak output of the two can exceed 210 watt. 
The GPU will have more cooling capacity because the CPU's high power maintenance period is quite brief. It will drop back to roughly 45 watt in less than a minute. About 175 watt is the combined power of the two, which is 5 watt more than the performance's official nominal rating. The next program is Sign Benchar 23, a version of Cinema 4D that evaluates the rendering performance of the CPU. Multicore. 12,977 points. Single core. 1484 points for the AMD R76800H. The previous scene shows how well the CPU and GPU work together. With a score of 8518 for the graphics card and 10074 for the CPU, Battlefield V's 1440p Ultra setting is predicted to deliver performance of 85 frames per second or higher. PC Mark 10 scored 6885 out of a possible 100, with common basic functions scoring 9817, productivity scoring 9159, and digital content creation scoring 9851. Throughout the test, the AMD R76800H clocked essentially higher than the benchmark. I tested the performance of games both with and without the single display direct connection enabled. The AMD R76800H comes with an integrated Radeon 680M graphics card. The power consumption will be lower because the CPU and GPU are linked on the chip. Integrated GPUs are typically employed for rendering and output to screens, in order to save power and prolong battery life. However, the integrated GPU output is still used when the discrete graphics card is rendering the game screen, which not only increases power consumption. Therefore, it is crucial to render the game and output the image to the screen, using a dedicated graphics card. Turn the Cyberpunk 2077 test on off using the same settings for the single display direct connection. The average frame rate of a direct connection to the graphics card under the same settings is 44.45 fps and when it is turned off it drops to 42.75 fps a difference of around 2 fps i use the gadget to record the laptop surface temperature and noise level during the aida 64 by item stability test the temperature of the surface is 48.0 degrees celsius at the air outlet yet the maximum temperature of the keyboard is only 37.3 degrees celsius indicating excellent temperature regulation in that area Let's finally look at the Redmi G Pro Ryzen Edition's battery life. I evaluated PC Mark 10's performance in game and video scenarios with the screen at 50%. The game scene's battery life is 1 hour and 56 minutes, but the frame rate starts to decline dramatically an hour into the test. As a result, the game's actual battery life should be a little bit longer than 1 hour. Even more glaring is the difference between GPU baking devices. The RTX 3050T's power consumption on the Redmi G Gaming Laptop 2022 reaches 86 degrees with only 95 watt. However, the RTX 3060 grilling device's power consumption on the Redmi G Pro Gaming Laptop 2022 Ryzen Edition is 130 watt. The Redmi G Pro Gaming Laptop 2022 Ryzen Edition offers a performance release of 175 watt and a lower oven temperature independent of GPU or CPU, whereas the Redmi G Gaming Laptop 2022 has a full performance release of 125 watt. If you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button, have a nice day and see you soon.